Hey guys and welcome to the True Brits. I'm back, Ricky, with another video. And today we're going to be looking at London 2012 Olympics. This game came out last week. And uh, you know what, I've played a bit of it. And uh, I'm going to give you my guys, my guys, my impressions. And uh, along with me, a special guest. We haven't had him for a while. My first few videos, he appeared, he disappeared. Um, but Diddy is back. Hello everybody. The mystery man has arrived. So yeah, he's back. He hasn't seen me. Uh, he hasn't seen this video. So uh, quite embarrassing. Actually, I did pretty good. So we're gonna walk through you guys. Well, walk through it. We're gonna give you our thoughts on it. We've actually both played it quite a bit. Um, so to start off with, we're basically gonna select two events. Um, every time you're gonna pick two events on day one, day two you pick two, day three you pick two, and so forth. And then you play them. Uh, now pick the triple jump. Now did he actually had a go with this? Is this pretty uh, pretty tough? It is pretty tough. You gotta you gotta time your jumps, time each jump, and, as you and can get see, the right angle. I yeah. completely embarrassed myself. That was in the pretty first bad. Time. Not gonna lie. But yeah, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's pretty fun. You gotta you gotta keep your guys speed up. Keep that in the green, or your guy will go pretty slow. And then time when you jump in. It's pretty hard actually. Yeah, the hardest part for me on view certainly was trying to get it on the whiteboard, yeah. getting your feet just close. You can see my foot is behind it by a mile. Um, but we're going to have an absolute massive jump here, bruv. Check this one out. This is spot on. I couldn't believe I actually hit this. But I get this right on the board. Get a oh, perfect, yeah. a perfect, good, man, and a yeah. perfect, and a bad. Oh, look at that. That is the world record right, right there. there. The yep. Spot on. And there it is, guys. A new world record. Not bad for my third <laughs> attempt, i got to say. Not bad at all. So, yeah. So, so basically, now I've won this. I'm qualified. There really was no point in me carrying on. But, you know, practice for the uh, for the finals. Mm -hmm. So, so graphics. We'll talk about them real quick. Do you like the look of them? Yeah, they're not bad. It's quite realistic. It's somewhat cartoony. If I may say, it's, it's vivid, you know, nice yeah, colour. It's got good colours. Certainly, the stadium looks nice. You can see the background yeah. with the flags yeah. and everything back there. So yeah, they've definitely got good the sand presentation. Is a bit shitty, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. And it's nice to see all the uniforms and everything in there as well. So, what other events have we got here, brother? We're only showing triple jump and uh, the um, archery, but. Uh, other ones in the game that you enjoyed anyway? Uh, I have to say my favourites probably um, definitely not the rowing. I didn't do very <laughs> good at the rowing. I no. gotta be honest. Or the um, what was the other one you did? Discus took about 95 attempts. Discus. But you did do well in kayaking's the pretty hard. That is tough. That is. The tough. kayaking's very hard. Warn yourself with that. And I I do enjoy the swimming. I didn't do amazing in it, but the swimming is pretty fun. Yeah, it's not tedious like the previous games. If we remember Beijing 2008 that came out, it was very much tap, tap, tap. You can see on the green um, button there, when you're tapping, you've got to keep it in a, yeah. in a steady rate. It's not, you know, get a it's turbo controller as and you win. hard as you can. Yeah. yeah, so they've actually made it realistic and, and fun to do. And all the events have a certain way of doing it. You'll see in the archery in a minute, that's actually pretty fun as well. Um, the sound's quite good because they have commentary now, which is nice. Yeah. You know, so... You know, they kind of hint at that as well. Um, nothing is realistic when it comes to names. You're not going to find um, Usain Bolt in there in the 100 meters. You can no, create him yeah. if you want, you know, <laughs> but but you're not. Anyway, we're moving on to the archery. I'm not going to lie, did pretty darn good in this as well. This is actually one of my favorite events, not because I just own at it, but uh, it's, I just think it's pretty fun. It's very simple. I really don't think it's hard at all. I mean, some people may find it difficult, but um, but how do you do it, bro? Well, I've never actually played this one, but so he doesn't know. <laughs> no. Well, basically, what you do is you can see here. You're gonna pull the right stick back, and then you're gonna let fly. And uh, you've got the wind on the left side. You've got to try and manipulate where you want it to exactly go. Hmm. So you can see here, it's a little bit higher. So I pull it down. But, you know, once again, graphics are nice, looks good, it's colourful. Um, not a bad shot there. That wasn't bad. Isabel. So. Another yeah. event I uh, I didn't expect to be any good, but I actually quite enjoyed it, was the uh, skeet shooting. Where you have, ah, yeah, to, uh, yeah. you have to hit the targets when they fly them in the air with your gun. It's tough. It's actually pretty tough, yeah, and it actually gets quite hard once you get into the later stages. Yeah, what you have to do there is you've got to keep the analog stick and just 
follow the uh, little clays, yeah. clay pigeons as they call them, and you got to nail that bitch as quick as you can. Mm. But when you've got two of them mothers flying at you, it's, it's pretty tough. But one thing you That's didn't play, hard. one game, the uh, the rapid uh, firing one, you got four seconds to hit six targets. Oh. So you've got to smash that wow. analog stick. So if you've got a shitty controller, and I don't have the best, <laughs> it's pretty tough. But, uh, but yeah, I enjoyed this one because it's, it's very simple. You can see I did this. Really. Look at that, ten. Okay, oh, what about that? I'm a beast. And obviously we had to roll with Great Britain, being British <laughs> ourselves. Disappointed in the Euros though, huh? Oh, embarrassing. No. Don't even get me started. Although we are half Italian. So yes, we are half Italian, so with them. We're, we're claiming... It was quite embarrassing for them as well. Yeah, they didn't. Well, but anyway, yeah. It is what it is. And I just wanted to put this out to show some gameplay. I mean, this is day one, like I said. I wanted to try and do events that haven't been shown everywhere. Yes, I can do the 100 meters, but it's just tapping. It's just it's tapping, yeah. There's not much. You can't really do much with that anyway, really, is there? I mean, you no, can, the harder you tap it, you can sprint for a few seconds or... No, no, that's the, the 400. Yeah, explain the 400 meters, because that's actually different to the 100 meters. Yeah, the 400, uh, you have a... The, high, the more you tap it, you can go into a blue zone which is pretty much you sprinting yeah. so and you we found this out the hard way but uh, you've only got a certain amount of sprint stamina as well stamina so once you've used th that up you're pretty much screwed and you're walking the rest of the way yeah we gassed ourselves <laughs> out and uh, finished like sixth so yeah. Uh, yeah they didn't really tell you that in the tutorial but you know no. it is what it is so uh, yeah but how many I think there are over 30 events which is nice um, and there's a variety of them, a lot of them are track based yeah. and um, I've got the gymnastics actually, some of them are just timing, uh, we tried them obviously, the uh, yeah, diving, time the, the trampoline time the and the, uh, the vaulting and all that, it's just basically, you got to press the buttons and uh, pick something, pick your, your, um, yeah, your, your dive or Whatever you're gonna do, difficulty wise, you get a harder the difficulty, the more points you get, but the harder it is. Um, so if you pick a hard one and you fuck up, that's it, you're done. Yeah. So they were okay, they were kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie, but no, I prefer the events like this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm an animal at javelin. I got a world record in that as well, so I can claim two world records, which isn't bad. And uh, Diddy did a run cycling. That's pretty fun. Cycling, yeah, cycling's not bad. You actually have quite a lot of control. You can uh, move your guy and you've got to overtake them. It's quite hard though. Yeah, one event though that we have to say is probably the worst made ever, the volleyball. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. The volleyball is possibly the shittest ever made. It's just, you can't win. <laughs> the AI just... embarrassing. Just, no, but it's the fact that you can't, I mean, if someone knows then leave me a comment, but can you spike a ball? Because I was pressing the button. Nearly got another one now, it's close. Mm. Look at that. But um, just couldn't spike it, and the AI. Would, I think ten minutes one time it lasted. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was like, what is this? And then the table tennis, which is it's pretty fun. That's but hard. it's also tough. It's also just rallying. I mean, yeah. whoever can last the longest, pretty much. Is, if you can't last long, then they're just gonna keep going and keep going. Yeah, and and if you're playing an Asian, <laughs> you're fucked anyway because he's Asian. So no offense to the Asians. They are pretty damn good. They're pretty beast. Yeah table tennis or ping pong but yeah they I mean they did a good job it's very difficult to make a decent volleyball or, yeah. or table I think, tennis I think the biggest problem with it is just the fact that there's not enough buttons not enough things to do no you, you should have an option to spike to you only to have die you only to do certain stuff a or x and that's it yeah that's right. there's not much to it and you don't even know where the ball's gonna land so you're pretty much guessing there as well yeah, so those probably, that volleyball certainly the worst and the weakest out of all of them. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, I am pole position. We're coming up to the final. We're about to sing Tearing it the up. God Save Our Precious Queen. Um, but, uh, yeah, this was good fun, you know. Triple jump's pretty, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I had another one was pretty good. It got Ooh. much better as I, uh, as I got better. I was starting to get on the white there as mm -hmm. well, so. Is that another world record? No, it wasn't a world. Didn't beat my last one. Oh. But yeah, graphically nice, animations are good, you know, they look good, they're pretty good, I mean... Mm. It's always tough to make an Olympic game because it's hard to make different sports, isn't it? you got to come up with yeah, different yeah. stuff to do, 
or it just gets tedious. Exactly, and it's nice to see that they uh, give you the medals. It's a little bit quick though, that's the thing, you know, you go from qualifying to the final to winning. No, yeah. I've done it. <laughs> I've seen it all in five minutes, That's, but you know, that's the way it is. Yeah. Would have been nice maybe to have trials beforehand and all this crap, yeah, but yeah, you know. Yeah, I think they should maybe think about adding a, a, a stage before just the qualifiers, maybe like the US Olympic trials, or which is going on right now. They should have something like that to qualify yeah, to get in it. Yeah, or you could be like a, a my player on NBA 2K12. You know. I don't know, get better at archery. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <laughs> you start off as a 12 year old, build oh, your way up, 24 years old, and that's your animal down the Olympic. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this is actually a pretty interesting event here. Check this out because it's coming up once we get to the last final round. I'm one, I'm two points I think behind the leader. Just mm. check out what I pull out my ass. Absolutely phenomenal. So, but yeah, I love this event. I'm not going to lie. This is probably my favourite one because I, I was getting the knack of it. And what I realised, as you can see here, oh, the wind actually does make a bigger difference than I thought. I think um, on my third go here. I wasn't aiming high enough, and I was getting like sevens, and I was like, oh shit, maybe I should aim higher, and once I did, um, I actually figured it out. So that, was, that was a reasonable performance. I think nines, tens, and eights, obviously tens are difficult, but nines and eights are good for archery. This wasn't, I don't think I had a very good round here. Hmm. See, I wasn't aiming far enough here, and it was going, it was going too, oh, maybe I was. <laughs> maybe it's one of them. Lies. But yeah, the sound's pretty good as well, you know, he keeps you informed. Sometimes, I mean, the table tennis sound, uh, commentary is a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know how you can really have commentary on oh, that. Oh, we hit that one back well. <laughs> it's like, well, yes. But yeah, as you can see, I'm a point behind here. Got two rounds left. I actually think this isn't the great round, to be honest with you. See the wind here, you can see six. I didn't aim high enough and it went to like blue. So I was like, oh shit. Oh, it was yellow. It was red. It wasn't It wasn't great, so I thought, hmm, maybe I should aim higher. Once again, I don't think I was aiming far enough. And I'm only playing on this medium, so there is actually hard. So, and hard's pretty tough. Yeah. One thing is, one of the hardest ones is definitely kayaking. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's it's ridiculous. There's a lot. There's actually quite a lot to it, and I could see when you start playing it more and you start getting used to it, it could actually be pretty fun. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Oh, Check this round out. I'm, I'm two points or one point behind. And one point behind. He needs a ten. Watch what I he put needs out to pull out a ten here. right now. Oh, there it is. Absolutely phenomenal. There it so is. The, so the pressure's on, though, to get a final good one and take the gold here. I line it up. I take sight. Oh, Another 10. Three 10s. Three 10s. 30 out of 30. Number one. She's he's, done he's it. He's gone and taken it. Isabella Khan. Uh, is that British? I don't Khan? know. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of Indians over there now. But <laughs> yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it, with people the Indians? Yeah. But anyway, there's another gold. So two events, two golds. Not bad. Definitely, the uh, it's definitely a fun game though, you know, to sit down. And there's also online as well, so that could be a good fun. So. Yeah, I don't know how that would work. I guess you Take go, it in turns, it? go against other people. Yep, but anyway, it's coming to the end. That's me, uh, Ricky and Diddy's opinions on London 2012, the official Olympics game of blah, 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 whatever they call it. It's a really long name, but we certainly think it's good fun. You know, maybe rent it, check it out. It hasn't got huge replay ability. Yeah, I think but it would deserve a rent. Yeah, at least a rent. So, uh, I hope I'm going to be whipping out more gameplay. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, take care.